beautiful day. with Manawa. I've been working with Manawa since my South Africa trip 2020 I believe and they've always got this adrenaline filled tours so super excited to be here in Corsica and trying out some of their tours today. <laughs> First stop of our boat tour and we're seeing wild cows on the beach and then checking out the private castle. We've got 30 minutes here so let's see what we got. Apparently only 20 people live on this island during winter so I'm guessing with all this farming behind that they survive on agriculture and maybe tourism when they visit. Also, this town is accessible only by boat or by taking a very long hike. rain jackets and everything. The other thing is if you're coming by car, which you probably would, you'll want to come in early um, because parking spaces are limited and you'll be guided where to park but come in early like I would say 8 a.m. Um, the entrance here by car is 6 euros. By moto bike it's 3 euros.
version of my lazy life when you let go of all that pressures to take photos at locations when you're traveling it's like your mind travel takes a whole new level of ease like you don't have to go dang why isn't the weather holding out on me or shit i can't believe i missed this photo spot and a celebratory croissant we reached the second lake All in all, we took about two hours, plenty of scrambling, which makes the hike more fun. And there were about three chained spots where we had to pull on the chains um, because it was pretty vertical. And stair climbing, ladder climbing rather. But all in all, really fun. Lots of rocky, like conglomerate. It's washed out. But yeah, easy short hike. Um, and it's two, two hours uphill. Ready to hit the cold water. Yet another adventure! Today, Manama took us canyoning. That is so fun. Initially, I didn't know what to expect. They did provide wetsuit and it's really cold. Um, we did like a, an hour half ascent. So it was one and a half hours of hiking, climbing, lots of rock climbing, literally skipping rocks. And then we got to a point where we had to suit up. There was a lot of pool jumping, sliding, going head first and feet first, of course. It was really fun. There was even rappelling. prepare for the canyoning we didn't bring anything uh, we weren't supposed to just really good grip shoes they do provide 
um, even if you don't have shoes for you can rent them and water bottle and a snack so that they fit into the bag the bag's not waterproof though like it has holes so the water drips out um, initially I was really worried because of my knee the torn ACL but then as it turns out there were another one in our group that had a torn ACL so we just got to be careful but generally you really want to be fit to do the canyoning because there's a lot of ups and downs um, and the guide teaches you how to jump so that your knee is protected so it's fine you get a lot of chances to cliff, cliff jump too there was a point in the rappelling it was around 40 meters yep but you got a rope so all's good and you get to go at your own pace but otherwise the jumps are around 5 meters or so nothing too crazy we are now doing a 2.4 km hike to a waterfall in the middle of the mountains here and the weather is like crazy one minute it will be 31 degrees and now it's like 22, 25 degrees and the wind is chilly so gotta keep warm waterfall and the trail is closed. Nice trail nonetheless even though we only got a glimpse of the waterfall. 